this weekend we're at Savage Golf one of my most favorite places in the world to hike we're right here at the Collins West Trailhead I'm gonna walk up Collins West go down see Suter Falls Horse Pound Falls go down through here so it's kind of dark I'll go up here on the connector trail I'm gonna take stage road up back to the rim and then we're gonna stay at stage road campsite uh, tonight and then uh, tomorrow we'll hike Collins east side back around so just a just an overnighter but that's what we'll be doing this weekend quarter mile in we're at Collins West campsite which is that way we're going this way Suter Falls third of a mile horse pound falls two and a half miles those are awesome I'll go out to the overlook here real quick check out where we're going to be going then we'll head down to the waterfall So if you stick Collins West campsite, here's your overlook. And this is what we'll be doing this weekend. I'm going to go down, do that uh, section right over there, see Suter Falls, come back around, go behind that rock, work our way down to the end of the gorge, and then we'll be going back up Stagecoach Road. And tomorrow we'll be hiking this rim back out. Okay, Cedar Falls that way. Collins Gulf, that's the rim trail ahead, so that's the way we'll be coming back tomorrow from that direction. So this is Suter Falls. It's a three-tier waterfall. That's the top of the last drop. That's one. And then the big falls is right over there. I got a bridge here now. I've been across it a few times, but when I first started backpacking and coming out here, there was no bridge. And I'll come out here before all this is iced over, and you just had to do your best to try not to slip on ice and go into the creek. Such a beautiful place to hike. It's very rugged, but it's very beautiful. We have a turkey vulture circling us, trying to see if we're alive or dead. Beautiful day today. Straight in front there. If you can see the highest hill, that's where uh, Collins West Campsite is. So the overlook is just kind of right over here on that side. We're starting the descent now away from the bluff line. The section we're doing today is the uh, Collins section. And we're going to stay at Stagecoach Campsite. And uh, a long time ago, there was a stagecoach route that went from Chattanooga to McMinnville and uh, we'll be going up an old rocky road that was the route 
of the old stagecoach. Yeah, I'll get down to creek level. We should be coming up on uh, horse pound falls here pretty soon. Got a big tree down going right through the trail. So it's either go around or go through. Look at that monster. Looks like the uh, trail around it is already getting done here. So we'll just continue with that idea. The terillium are just now starting to come out. I haven't seen any opened up though, but just starting to show up. So spring is almost up on us. So now we're about two and a half miles in. Here's a side trail down to Horse Pound Falls. Yeah, this waterfall here is always epic. I've never seen it when it wasn't just absolutely pounding. Even in a drought, this one right here is rolling good. Horse Pound Falls. That's Horse Pound Falls. I'm going to get up here just a little bit further and all that's going to disappear. This whole section here, we are just downstream from where we was at Horse Pound. And all the water in this area goes underground right there. Leaving the sink area, Got some nice round rocks, some nice ankle twisters. And we'll be back on normal trail here in a minute. Come down the hill here. And this is where we cross. You can actually hear a little bit of water running, but that's uh, from side creeks. It's kind of collected up. Some nice big boulders through here. Look at that. That is awesome. Tomorrow when we get to Boulder Crossing, there's some really huge monster boulders over there too. Oh, just starting to see the first few little wildflowers popping out here. I've seen some little white ones too. I'll try to get a little video of them if I see them. But, uh, so we've crossed the uh, dry creek bed and we're heading like toward uh, uh, Sawmill Camp right now. Here's a, here's a couple of other little flowers. Looks like maybe two different kinds, I don't know. So there's a Schwoon Spring is that way, but it's not just that away, it's way up that away too. So if you're staying at Sawmill Camp, there is no water. So it's always about half a mile, half a mile hike for water, and plus up the hill. Yeah, which is really neat looking, but yeah, that's a long way to go for water. Yeah, look at that, man. Them trees stopped that rock right there. That's crazy. Like Billy said back there a while ago, which came first, the rock or the tree? I don't know if they're mosquitoes or exactly what they are, but there's a lot of them. Yeah, so there's a swinging bridge, so we're at the sawmill camp just beyond that all the decades i've been coming out here i've never seen water under this bridge before i've always just thought the bridge was so you wouldn't kill yourself climbing through the boulders but there's actually water down here so people camping at uh, sawmill won't have to go all the way to schwoon spring for water yeah, anytime I've ever stayed at Sawmill, I had to go all the way to Schwoon for water. Now they've uh, they got a lake down here now. This is nice and it's pretty clear too, for the most part. So if you plan on coming and staying at Sawmill, you might get lucky, unless it all dries up. Next weekend, we thought it was going to still be here. Yeah. 
to come out. Everything be just dry as a bone. What happened? Yeah. Oh. I'm more outdoor. They said it'd be water. You're out here just quietly sitting, hanging out, and you see a ranger come down with this drill and drill a hole in the middle, and it just sinks away. <laughs> we only want you to get water out of, out of Schwoon Springs. Yeah. All right, so that's why we just came. That's where we're going. So, yeah, Schwoon Spring from here, point three. So we're saying about a half mile, but they're saying point three, but... I don't know, that sounds a little light. <laughs> Alright, so we're going this way. So mill camp set that away. We're going this way. But we're not going to Hobbs. I think we only got like 0.4 and then we'll turn off on the stage road. Okay, so 0.4, 5.5 back to stone door. 3.2 to Hobbs. Two point six to the campsite. Alright, y'all have a good one. This is the beginning of it right here. Seemed like it just beat a wagon to pieces. I mean there's some big rocks sticking up. Look at that. I could not imagine. I think if I was on a stagecoach and I was coming down this, I think I'd just jump off and walk down. Surely to God when the stagecoach was here, it wasn't this bad. <laughs> I don't know too many four-wheel drive vehicles that go handle this road. Nice little rock house shelter there. In case it's raining. Good place to duck in out of the storm in case she was here. It just started coming down in buckets. The bottom of the uh, stagecoach road to the top is about 950 feet in elevation and uh, it's about 1.6 miles. It was probably a lot smoother than what it looks now but you can, yeah, you can still see how it's built up there. And a shagbark hickory tree there. And you can see right there how the road's built up. And this, when we get into view of it, This is uh, Skinny Falls. I hear Phoebe up there. Uh, Eastern, Eastern Phoebe. Phoebe. One mile to camp. And we are actually officially on the uh, South Rim Trail right now. Stagecoach campsites. Seven miles to the Ranger Station on the South Rim. And number seven. The camp's coming together. Get the tent up, get the tarp up, and dragging up some wood. Still got a little daylight left. Once again, ramen with chicken involved in there. There is chicken in there, I swear. Chicken chunks. All right, there's some chicken. Oreo, uh, Kool Aid water. It's all good. And dig it. And you got a bag of M&M's. Yeah, here we got fire going. See, they got a full moon out there. And we ain't even heard so much as a coyote. 
The only thing we've really heard is just the, uh, we can hear the two people next door talking. It'd be nice if we had at least a coyote. Good morning, everybody. You know what time it is. Carnation. That full moon was awesome last night. You pretty much didn't even need a light to walk around here. Wasn't much different than it is now. So one thing that happened was the uh, time changed last night. So now we'll finally have more daylight in the afternoon. So I won't come home from work and be late or won't be dark too soon. So what season is it? Kayak season. Kayak season will be opening soon. Of course, right now it's 30 degrees. So not good kayak season right now, but we'll get there. Heading out. Campsite 7, Stagecoach Road. I highly recommend this one. It's the farthest one back, and you have to walk a little bit further past all the other campsites, but definitely uh, you could get four or more tents in here easily, and you're a lot further away from everybody else. So, yeah, good spot. Yeah, Campsite 5, you might get one tent in there just looking back at it. All right, Campsite 4. Quick look. It's pretty small. And just for the record, campsite two is also very small. Right, here's campsite one. That's stage road. That's a little bit bigger. You could get a few tents around in here. Maybe you've got fresh cut firewood. Look at that. So, uh, yeah, site one's big. Seven and a half miles that way. Collins Gulf campsite 6.2 plus another 0.2 or 0.3 out, so roughly six and a half miles. Yesterday when we were at the sink, that tributary right there came down and where you saw most of that water going down and going into the cave, that's where it was coming from. So Horsepound Falls is right down over this way. And so here's the next, uh, here's the next view. This one looks like it's going to be pretty stellar. Oh yeah. So we still gotta go to the very back of the gorge over there. So we remembered there was a, a couple years ago maybe, there was a bad storm came through here and tore stuff up. And this is kind of what it looks like on the uh, uh, Collins East side. And then check this out. Got a full on buried in shelter under this tree now that's a blaze tree also man it's got a blaze on it man this area just got demolished oh look at this I mean tell it's been a little while a couple of years because it's not fresh cut on the ends. So here's another overlook. Right, check out that bluff line down there. Pretty cool. Got this uh, big pine tree here in the way.
still lots of destruction. This place just got wiped out. Getting closer to the uh, back of the gourds there. Now we're going to cross a 100 foot suspension bridge at a spot called Boulder Crossing. <laughs> All right, so straight across, if you see that bluff, that's where we was yesterday when we was at the overlook at Collins West campsite. And the waterfall you might be out here over there, that's uh, Suter Falls. Uh, we got some flat and easy trail right now, so we uh cruising at a pretty good clip. Because when we get over there on that other side, it's going to be rocky. It looks a lot slicker than it is, but it's not really that slick. We're heading down to Boulder Crossing right now. I can tell by the way the back of the gorge is over there. Pretty steep descent right through here. Well, I don't know if we're ever going to get to see Billy fall down. We're too old to be falling for fun. That's some big old rocks. This looks like one of those bridges you'd see in an Indiana Jones movie with the crocodiles and the sea monsters and everything under it. I love these old bridges. And so this is uh, Boulder Crossing. And so from here, it's just gonna be very, 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 very rocky. A lot of rock hopping all the way up till we get to uh, back to Collins West. But it's fun. Bridge getting a little sketchy looking, ain't it? Yeah. All right. When you're on these rocks, like they're right there, they like to play too. You never know when you're going to step on a solid one or one that moves. So you got to be ready through here. Yeah, even, even the big ones move. We didn't even get to the really crazy ones yet.
That was a big one that moved. All right, so right up there is the overlook. Maybe the sun's not messing stuff up too well. I know you can't see it, but anyway, right over there is the overlook for Collins West. So right through the trees over there is where we was when we was looking at the overlook over here. So here we are back here. Parking lot, one third of a mile. All right, pizza. This is the final push to the top. All right, now on top. Rock on, old dude. Oh yeah, and we are back in the parking lot. All right, Savage Gulf, uh, Collins Trail, Stage Road, Stage Road campsite. Um, definitely get out there and do that one sometime if you need a good reason to have your butt kicked. Uh, like it. Subscribe, comment, blah, 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 blah. Billy, words of wisdom. It's a good trip. Good trip. It's coming. All right. Ruby, see you on the next one. Later.